Hey guys, what's going on? Dave Dewa Show. Quick clip here. Um, there's been a big flurry of awesome news recently. Um, and I mean some huge stuff. And we'll go into some of those and some of the podcast uh, pieces that'll come up here in the future. But right now I want to focus on something crazy. Did you guys, did you girls um, watch some of the news? There's been a lot that's gone on. Monday night was the Final Four, blah, blah, blah. It was the championship, all kinds of other stuff. Well, I think over this weekend, Monday, Sunday or Monday, um, an Auburn gymnast, um, Samantha Serio, at a uh, statewide um, competition, and she was a, she's a seasoned gymnast. She's a senior. So she's been in college for four years, which means she's probably in her early 20s, and she's done gymnastics her entire life. Very, very skilled. Well, she does this crazy move on the floor exercise. And if you don't know what the floor exercise is, both the men and the women do the floor exercise, and it's where they run on this padded floor that's in a big square, and they tumble. They will do back handsprings, they'll do round-offs, they'll do them into more complex moves in the air after they run and pick up speed. They'll do whippets where they spring their feet over multiple times. Um, and usually, the way they construct it now, there's three or four passes that are main passes that have multiple tumbling elements in them. Meaning, you start to run, you go into a back handspring, uh, you, you do a round off, uh, which means you change your direction from forward to backward, then you go into a back handspring, you do a couple of those, you might do a flip, a full flip without touching your hands, you do another back handspring, and then you do a dismount. And they quantify it just like regular gymnastics, right? It's got a dismount to it. You mount the running pass with the running and then your round off or um, whatever element. Sometimes they do a forward or whatever. And then you dismount that running pass. And it all has to be done within the square. If you go outside of the physical boundaries of the square on the uh, floor exercise, you're penalized. You can't step outside of it. So you got to do this stuff with control, with power, with speed, with grace. And they'll do air elements where they run, and these are all extremely fit, awesome, top-notch athletes, you know, um, semi-professional and professional gymnasts. Uh, and when I say professional, there's no real professional gymnast, but when you reach this Olympic level or you're at the collegiate level, that means as a child, you know, like four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, they've been doing gymnastics, right? Well, this gal is on the floor exercise, Samantha Cirillo, She's um, from Auburn University, and they're competing, and they're in a head-to-head -head competition. She's running one of these passes, and she's renowned for this very difficult dismount on one of the passes, and I think it's her last run. And it's so difficult because instead of doing a roundhouse, propelling yourself backward, she does it forward, and she flips forward. And a forward flip, other than on the vault where you run down and hit the, the springboard and then turn and flip on it or go over it, on the floor exercise, a forward uh, aerial is a, a really hard. If you do flips, if you tuck, if you pike, they're really difficult because you're spinning forward. And you have to time that uh, dismount, the landing, perfectly so you land on your feet. This chick does like two tucked flips in the air or something. I haven't watched it, and I'm going to watch it. <laughs> and the reason why is she dislocated both knees and ripped all the tendons out. Like, the force is so severe because you jump four, five, six feet in the air while running at 10, 11, 12 miles an hour and spin your body. So now you have a vector. You have a direction and you have a, a force, right? You have a vector. And that vector, which then you tie with torque, puts this body, dude, what are we? We're soft flesh, muscle, sinew, whatever, over a bone skeleton, right? And this thing doesn't take a lot of force. So these cats, through ever um, aggressive and ever increasing difficulty, advance to these severe moves that are epic. She runs, does this forward dismount and spins, doesn't do it right, and her legs, the, her two feet hit. And the force of her feet with her body continuing to spin, dislocate her knees, 
tear all the ligature in her knees. Tear it, torn. ACL, LCL, MCL, everything around her knee. The, the knee joints pull right out of the top of your leg bone, your femur. They pull right out. The lower portion of her leg comes out and all of the ligature rips. These are life-threatening injuries. And if they're not managed, there's a total bleed out internally and you'll die. They have to amputate the legs usually if you don't have specialists to reconnect all that connective tissue. These are horrific injuries. And these are top tier sport injuries because this move she's doing is insane. It's fucking insane. So you gotta go out and YouTube this thing and watch it. And I'm gonna do it right now. And we're gonna see what my reaction is. Because I think it's horrible, and I don't mean to laugh, but oh my god, I haven't eaten yet um, all day today, and so I want to do this, watch this, and then I want to get a reaction. So here we go. You ready? An aerospace engineering, an aerospace major. engineering major. Such an impressive young lady. Let's see how high she flies right here. Oh my god. I think she may be. Hurt. It looked like oh, that ankle came down very her awkwardly, and she is this. obviously in some pain. Her legs, like everything, like the football injuries, like Lawrence Taylor, quick, and they they separate. You can see it, and it's not a break, but you can see where the knee joint just said, "No, nope, not today." Break, and she fits on her butt, but her legs are now they're curved, and there's no attachment at the joint with the knee. Ooh, that was brutal. <laughs> Dude, you got to appreciate what these people do. That is awesome. And that's a horrible injury. And I think she's recovered. They gave her surgery and whatnot. But my God, if you haven't seen this video and I'm showing it here, you, you, you watch this. You got to watch it. You got to watch this thing again and rewind it. I'm not going to. It sort of makes me sick. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.